Hello and welcome, my fellow humans, to Bivington's YouTube channel and continuation of our Let's Play of the Direwolf 20 1.20 mod pack. And today we're continuing on our efforts to make end gear armor and weapons uh, using basically the silent gear mod and a couple other mods. And it has several different steps involved in this process. In episode 39, we talked about grading to max grade and how you can do that kind of an automated kind of passive way to do that. Today we're going to work on star charging. I already have the star charger set up and uh, we're going to go through some basic um, setup of, of how to get the uh, charging catalyst and get that all, all the stuff moving through the star charger which works only at night so it's going to take some time to do it. We're not going to, be able to do it right away. It's, it's going to take a couple days probably. All those ingots and things we have. And then we have uh, the other steps. There's about eight steps total we're going to craft the, the, all the components next, and then after that, we're going to apply the apotheosis imbuements, which would be step four. Hopefully, I'll have a little list over here on the side where you can follow along in this list. Step five would be enchanting. I'm going to use botania for that. And then we're going to put gem, gems in there that are um, uh, maxed, uh, maxed out, and they'll be from apotheosis. And then we're going to add sockets to that, and that's going to, we're going to use uh, the apotheosis enchanting tables and I think we need to go through three or four different enchanting tables to finally get to the one that allows us to put new sockets in there. Because you can get a, a total of four sockets. You want to max this thing out, you want four sockets. And then you can make the thing un unbreaking using uh, Forbidden Arcanus if we want. We do have, of course, we put Mending on there and uh, some Silent Care stuff to make it so it's kind of self-repair. But um, we can also do that, make it totally unbreaking so it'll last forever. All right, he's good. How's it going? And so let's get this started. And uh, as usual, everything we're going to need here is in this chest. Basically, uh, things move things around. And kind of the things thing I had to do to get this this started, get this ready, is that uh, down here I had to get into the automation center and uh, get into the pulverizer and upgrade it so it could work much faster. Because if we look at the star. Uh, I'm going to use star metal, metal catalyst here, uh, star, star, star metal dust, which is starlight charger catalyst, and it's tier 3. And if we go through the process of making that, there's a lot of dust that are needed. And so, and, and including we had to, excuse me, we have to make silent, uh, nether, uh, <laughs> nether star fragments. And so it takes one fragment to make... Uh, some star metal dust and all of these other materials and so that it really gets backed up here on this uh, pulverizer so we had to put in some upgrades here it's kind of the tier two this is uh, using the reinforced um, augment or component and it's scale factor of three times and then we have three speed upgrades which gives it uh, process energy of 1.1 and base, pro base power of plus 100 so anyway it makes everything faster there and then we had to add a uh, multi servo press over here so we can make this electron plates in process of making all this components for those upgrades. And so that's kind of the homework that had to be done. And now we can get into the process of actually charging this stuff. And I think it's it's on sunrise, so we missed the night completely. <laughs> that's fine. Alright, so we're still in this building where we have all our Ars Nouveau stuff. And a lot of the stuff in here from Silent Gear, so this is where we have all of our uh, enchanted books and gems are only concentrated here. And if you look in this chest, everything is graded to max. I did go ahead and add another 24 ingots of refined obsidian so that we can make the, all of the armor obsidian. I figured if we're going to make this the max level end gear end game stuff, we use the best stuff possible. And if you look at that stuff using left control, it has a total armor value of 39 down there in the kind of the light violet colors. And uh, Tyrion Steel would only give us 32.5. It does have this this Void Ward, which saves the wearer from falling into the Void. But we already have Void Ward kind of as a uh, trinket from Cyclic. And so I don't think we need that in our armor as well. All right, so I have the Star Charger up here on top of the building. And what's interesting, if you go up there and take a look at it, this has to be open to the sky, and I was kind of worried about that, so I checked some things, and only the block above it, above the star charger, has to be open to the sky. Um, right here. 
So you can build another floor in here as long as you leave that one block open. Um, and then it, it, it is a 7x7 seven seven multi-block, so these blocks of Tyrian steel, and that's for tier 3, and I think that means it's, it's charged, star charges a bit faster. They have to be three blocks above it, or three blocks above the base level of where it's sitting, and it's a 7x7 seven seven multi-block. And we can see here we do have some charge, so I did, did build this correctly. It contains about 1 million charge in there. And so now we need to, to start moving some things around. And um, we're going to use a uh, Mantra Router to uh, grab some star metal down from this chest, star metal dust, which is the charging catalyst. Currently, there's nothing in there. And so we just need star metal dust in here. And I, I didn't want to put this as a stack. That's right. I want to take the staff upgrade out. It does kind of make things... I don't want that in there. It does kind of make things a bit odd because it will put in a whole stack. And that means for all of our equipment that's making all these dusts, it, it puts a whole stack in there at once and makes everything slow. And so now it will it'll do it gradually and things will be backed up. And you can kind of... If I change it to the mode monitor, we can see that this is kind of progressing. And with those warning signs up, it's kind of like saying it can't put that in the, in the machine because there's something else is in the machine. And if you do it one by one, it doesn't get all clogged up I'm trying to do a stack at a time, as I just said that. All right, let's get this back in the crafting mode. And so that's building up. And so we want to take, we're going to use one of our pullers, and we want to pull star metal dust out of there. Because <laughs> it's got some spruce in there, so you don't have to fill the whole chest with star metal dust. And um, uh, ignore that. Match items. Where there's a whitelist, only star metal can come out of there. We don't want spruce coming up. And let's go ahead and put this in here. So that's the first thing you do. The next thing you do is going to put that in here. And it goes in the bottom. I don't know if that's a particular thing we can do. Uh, anyway, in a whitelist, we only want star metal dust going in there. And so I, I don't think I can say which slot that goes into. We may have to put this into a separate chest and then have a laser eye put in the bottom, but I, I think it'll, it'll know what to do. And so it's already picking it up from there, as you can see, and now we need to put this in there and hopefully it'll start transferring it in here. It is, excellent, that's working great. And so the next thing we need to do um, is use another um, modular router. The thing is that modular routers can do fantastic things, but they only have one buffer. So this is, this is working on style metal dust. You can't also have it pull something else in. So we're going to go ahead and put another um, modular router here. And we're going to go down here and pull from the chest. We have everything maxed out. And that's going to just take whatever it's got in the chest. Whatever we want to bring, that's fine. All right, so let's get this in here, or the top one. And we want to place that stuff in here. And just as we did last time, we're going to need to use um, the pipes mod and ultimate pipe upgrade to set um, a condition when things will be taken out of the star charger. I think we have enough charge in there for it to make one, one item max. I, I, I don't know if that's going to work. I think it'll stay in the star charger until it's maxed. I, I'm, I'm hoping that's what it does. Otherwise, we'll have to do that a different way. I get pulling up all this stuff. All right. And so we're going to want that stuff to come over here once we have an item that's maxed. I think I need to make a, um, what is it called? A hammock. Yeah, let's make a hammock. Um, I do have purple wool. There we go. Let's go ahead and put a hammock down here somewhere. Wants four of them? There we go. All right, so to sleep through the day, we need a hammock. I'll set a hammock up over here. Um... Nearby the nearby the thing. Anyway, let's just sleep the day. All right, it's sunset, so star charger should be operational pretty soon. Yeah, I think this is only supposed to be too high. Kill it. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. All right, so I had the uh, star charger built a little bit wrong. These are only supposed to be two blocks off the ground, not three blocks off the ground. So I changed that back down to what you see now, and it is charging. It's using quite a bit of charge. All right, so we have one that is star charge three. Excellent. So I only want to remove items from here. Let's go ahead and do this. Put the ultimate pipe upgrade in there, and then I'm going to add a filter, put this uh, Star Charge 3 ingot in there, and we can see it says Grade Max. Um, and I'm going to delete this stuff up here, is the first thing to do. There we go. All that data out of there. And then I'm going to go ahead and keep that, because Grade 3 is also acceptable, but it's got to be... Star Charger is foil. 1B Star Charger. Star Charged. I, <laughs> what is all that? Sonic Gear is foil. 1B SG Star Charged. 3. I guess that's correct. 3S Sonic Gear Grade Max. Okay, so it's both. Alright, so we had to submit that. I can't put that back in there, so I just put it over here now. So let's try another one. Try them all at once. This is going to take a while, quite obviously. It's going to take a long time. Alright, so we can keep putting things in there. Right here. Nothing else is coming out, so let's see what happens here. Excellent, so that is working. Star Charge 3. The Silent Gear stats for it, and now we can see the armor value after star charging is the maximum is 45. Before star charging, it was 39, so that's quite amazing. And look at the attack damage, is now up to 16. Didn't give us any benefit there as far as speed, though. So it's, star charging is really incredible. The combination of those two is really at some high levels. And if, yeah, if you look at before star charging, maximum armor is 39, maximum attack was 13. You get three more attack damage, so that's pretty good. So this is end game total optimization of these things for Silent Gear. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the episode to a close. We got the Star Charger up and running. It's gonna take a while for it to run on its own. The server will be running day and night, so it will take probably a few days. Um, I have a little problem there with this star metal dust not being made by the system. I'll have to look into what's going on there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.